San Bonani, this is Kulegani. Um, we are today dealing with certain matters of mental health. As you know, October, Konala, South Africa, and across the world, it is Mental Health Awareness Month. And Gomsaka 10, Kuyona Linyanga, October. Uh, every year, Lightningism Africa, we celebrate Mental Health Awareness Day and the rest of the world. So, Skuluma, about that, Namsanje, we are visiting the offices and the premises of Cloud Therapist. So, we have Kwabe Kumete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not new to the podcast, yes. not new to Gagasi FM. So, he's always coming through Jalumasim Dinga. Uh, so today is Vilesa Tai Agube Tin Sizagien. Sizobona Linda was a Kulumanga. Yes. Welcome to Gagasi FM. So one. Bambo Nijani, a Sia Bingelela, a Jungbusu Begile, a Kamalamgo Sabelo, and Wakumete, a psychologist by profession, and the Sia Bonga Kulam Clan Jugutin and Scati, a Nizo C. Varashela, a cloud therapist, as you might have seen, Guti. Uh, in the way Ganjani, uh, in the Ole, where a band to a uh, Batola Ululegua, a mm. uh, Batoli rehabilitation uh, when it comes to the issues uh, of mental health. Um, as we have always emphasized, that mental health uh, is as important as any other uh, uh, health, uh, you know, uh, that are required for a human being mm. uh, to survive uh, 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 this test of life. So yeah. you need mental health. You need to come and see a psychologist. You don't need to get sick first, uh, or you don't need to be traumatized first mm. uh, for you to be able to come and see us. You can just come here for life alignment. You can come here for life coaching. You can come here to deal with, uh, you know, a, a growth. Uh, you know, as you can uh, listen to what I'm saying, it's from a positive uh, side of things, which means you need not to wait. Mm. Uh, for you to be able to come and seek, uh, you know, uh, professional advice when it comes to the issues of mental health. Issues of mental health, sometimes we pick them up or rather we pay notice to them yeah. uh, at a later stage in yes. life. Yes. But research has shown that mental health issues can start from as young as 14. Yes. They can influence yes. in Ghana, yes. even younger than yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. How does a parent yeah. assess yeah. and see which yeah. is yeah. facing yeah. Yeah. certain issues of yeah. mental health? Yeah. Yeah. And secondly, how do I now assist yes. in yes. that particular regard? You, you see, uh, Mbambo, um, the issues of mental health has always been limited to anxiety, depression, uh, maybe post-traumatic stress disorder. There are, um, you know, mental health disorders uh, such as, um, you know, uh, autism. Mm. Um, you know, and, and, and others that uh, are hereditary. By hereditary, I mean they're biological. They mean in fools, or mm. they can be passed from a parent to a child, which means that umdwana can pick it up uh, from uh, Amajin's Omzali and Azarwenayo. And, mm. um, you know, ultimately right from uh, birth, and then they can start be experiencing those uh, mental health uh, difficulties. And then uh, in, in, in uh, black communities, you'd find that Guti, because of lack of awareness and education, uh, most parents are not equipped to mm. understand, um, you know, these mental health, uh, mental uh, difficulties. And they uh, would Guti, umdwanu and the mental uh, 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 difficulty or a mental health uh, disorder, Iba in Kinga, Uma Uzo Ibamba segulate. Can't move Bamba early, but no, um, you know, there is something uh, that is actually uh, 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 needs attention when it comes to uh, a mental health. Yeah, Kusheshe Ubone or Dotel, Shushbona, my psychologist, by our words, but Shesha Banganele, and they're able to deal with those issues. Toluuti, Umdwana, there is no need to take the my special schools. In, in, in mainstream schooling because so yes uh, mental health can be actually um, uh, be something of hereditary can be something of biological where and, uh, and, 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 and also uh, from there you know it's the issue of environment mm. and then ultimately in the environment because the environment is toxic because environment is, is hazardous, mm. uh, it, it impacts his mind um, and then ultimately then informs how you know he's going to be when it comes to his mental uh, mental profile mm. and it told to say engage uh, um, behaviors that are actually untowards and ultimately affect 
uh, his life. Mm. Yeah. So, Tina, we, as, you, as you said, there are certain environments, our figure, your other corner, that are hazardous to yeah. Udwan. Yes. Or any other person, yes. for that matter. Yes. We live in a province and more so a city, Eteguini, yes. that has gone through so much yes. over the past couple of years. Yes. We've yes. had COVID. Yes. We've had COVID. We've had COVID. We've had COVID. Yes. 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 Even in terms of leadership, yeah. just recently we laid to rest the yes, late Prince yeah. Mangoso Duterte, yes, yes, yes. losing a monarchy yes. and successively. Yes, and yes, all of those things yes, yes. bundled together yes, can affect a mental state yes, of a society, yes, of a yes, person. Yes, yes. How do, does one deal with certain things that are exterior coming into their lives that yes, might affect yes. them? You see, you are raising a very critical point there point of environment because those are actually external factors mm. that ultimately though um, affect us as a group mm. and um, you know uh, you start as early as apartheid for example yeah. you know uh, a certain group of people who have who have been exposed to trauma uh, to violence uh, to killing uh, for such a long time and that then affected their mental a, 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 a spectrum or their mental profile, mm. you know, in terms of understanding and in, ter in terms of identifying uh, with life and identifying with one another and identifying with self. Mm. Because mental health also is about self, is about me, is about me understanding myself, mm. is about me understanding who I am, uh, is about me understanding how do I matter in a group, which is a society that I'm actually part of. So if you look at the legacy of apartheid, for example, it has been, you know, it, have, it affected black people, in particular Africans, um, to actually uh, have poor self-esteem when mm. it comes to, you know, the ecosystem of life, um, you know, the ecosystem of one another, of humanness. Mm. It affected them from that, uh, actually, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, a mental point of view, mm. um, you know, the, 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 the issue of consciousness, the issue of black being beautiful, the, act, the, the issue of black being matter in a society was actually being, um, you know, a, a challenge or violated uh, uh, during that era. And then it affected how we see ourselves, you know, mm. in, as members of the society and as members of uh, the human race. So mm. that then informed how our mental uh, profile was shaped. And then ultimately you have these uh, significant events that you have mentioned, mm. uh, riots, um, you know, COVID, all of that struck to the mind as well, you know, uh, affected this part of the, of, of the body that is actually less looked after, but it is an engine uh, that actually, yes, that actually, actually gives you you know, uh, 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 the meaning that gives you hope, that gives you courage, that gives you that emotional intelligence we were talking about earlier yeah. on, um, that you must wake up and actually, you know, uh, be someone and actually be, have a program that you actually informs who you are on a day. So all those things were affected because of all these significant events that we have, we have mentioned. And the loss, there is uh, something that we, we call grief uh, uh, and, mm. and, uh, uh, and, and bereavement. And, um, and us, as, as, as an African race, most of the time, we struggle uh, with that. Actually, we don't grieve. We just move on. Mm. We, we don't accept when we have actually lost someone and, and just focus and deal with that moment uh, for the particular period. You know, we try to avoid, shy away. You know, um, if you've lost a brother or a parent or someone close to you, you, you kind of shy away from that memory because it is painful, you don't want to face it, you mm -hmm. know. So that also affects your, your mental health and leads to what we call post-traumatic stress disorder mm. with the passing of time. You would find out not being effective at work, uh, you would find out later on being not a good partner in a relationship because you are still stuck in the past, you are still stuck on what happened because you did not deal with it. So you're saying if I don't deal with the stresses and the, and, and, and the traumatic moments in my right. life, yes. they will somehow come Surface. back to me, yes. resurface yes, yes. in now PTSD. Exactly, yeah. So, so, so um, 
what people do uh, is that as they deal with, with, with uh, uh, matters in life mm. uh, that actually challenges them, they then suppress it into their unconscious memory. They put it at the back of their mind and carry on. Mm. And then you'd find that later on in life, the brain can't take it anymore because mm. there's just a lot of garbage. You're piling too much. Yes, yeah. that we have actually piled up into your subconscious memory. And ultimately, you crash. Mm. You crash like that. And, 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 and what is worse is that um, it now, later on, doesn't only affect your mental uh, uh, health. It then starts to affect your physical health, mm. where you'd find that someone has collapsed and they've hit it by stroke because the brain couldn't control, the, 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 the brain couldn't surmount or keep up now with the actual challenges that were actually, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, required at that particular point in time to be processed because remember this person has not trained their mind to deal with issues but they've trained their mind to suppress issues mm. suppress issues suppress issues and then you'd find that later on you're confronted with the issue that is life-changing but because you you've been you've been training your, your your mind not to process issues you'd try to to put it at the back of your mind and you find that the issue is just too big because it's life-changing and ultimately it affects your blood circulation oh. and then it creates blood clots, boom, stroke. Mm. So, so there is an interconnectedness between mental health and physical health. Yeah. So if you don't take care of each of these, ultimately you would affect uh, uh, the other. So I want to go back a bit. You, you mentioned in Dabayoguti societal issues, the loss, the riots, and everything that yes, happened yes. can affect us as a group. Yes, yes, but yes. Can we now, when we want to tackle them and want to heal from them, yes. do we now have to come as a group? Noma, uh, does one need to battle those particular issues on a one on one basis? Uh, remember that as much as you are affected as a group, but mm. it's your psyche that is affected. Yeah. So, so, so self healing is important. You cannot help anyone if you are not helped yourself. So it is always uh, good that the group is helped, hmm. but uh, also self, um, you know, uh, uh, action is important. You know, uh, you find that there was a dark cloud of the, uh, over the black nation upon the loss of our king, yeah. King Zuelitini, uh, 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 you know, and, and you find that if you are you know, uh, on your own, in your own time, you find that there is this sense of loss because you identified with him so much mm. as a Zulu person. Yeah. You find that it is a significant loss. It has affected you that much because you identified with him as your leader and as your father and as this significant uh, 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 figure, uh, figure yeah. in the society. You know, you, it's okay. Talk to someone. Listen, uh, you know, this is what I know. It might, it might sound far-fetched, uh, uh, to you and it doesn't have to make sense actually for the next person it doesn't have to um, you know so that it makes sense for you um, you say no listen it's something I'm struggling with um, uh, it, it, it's something that we went through as, as, as a nation it was a significant chapter we spent like a month or two months really talking intensely about it you know mm. um, you know and ultimately it goes to the mind mm. it really goes to the mind so yes you can look at yourself talk to yourself uh, um, and, and have yourself to go get help. Mm. Uh, but if you look at our country, uh, we are riddled with high unemployment rates, we're riddled with poverty, we're riddled with um, you know, disease, uh, HIV, uh, and, 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 and AIDS, and, and, and other diseases are riddling our society yeah. apart. All those things, all those things, sometimes they, they, are, they take priority when it comes to the country. For example, if you look at the, the, the national budget, um, you know, uh, that is being actually uh, done by government, it's only 5% actually that is allocated to mental health. Mm. So it then tells you that the, oh, well, the issue, the, the country is, is, is faced by quite a number of pressing issues, uh, such as unemployment and et cetera, as I've mentioned, uh, but ultimately all these factors affect your brain. Mm. So if your brain doesn't get support, by support mm. really, I mean, you, you must have uh, things as basic as a mentor. 
Yeah. Right? Before even seeing a psychologist, have someone that is your mentor, someone that you talk to outside of your family. Have someone that you can trust about your venting. Mm. Someone that you can talk to and say, hey, Bam, you know, I can't take it anymore. I've been applying for these jobs and uh, I don't even receive callbacks from these and people. And sometimes those people don't even need to say much. Yeah. Being on the other end, yes. listening and yes. telling you it will be okay. Yes, yes. That yes. might be all you need. Exactly, because mm. remember, um, life is lived by experiences. You know, your issue or whatever that you're struggling with, I might have struggled with that thing 20 times or 100 times more. So when you come to me and share that thing, by telling you that, listen, it's part of life. Listen, mm. you just have to keep on trying. Mm. Nothing comes easy. This is a preparation uh, for you so that when this opportunity finally comes in, you are ready. Mm. Because imagine that you go for the first try, for the first try and you get it. And because you did not try many times, you, you are likely even to lack experience mm. and fumble that opportunity. Mm. But if you've tried 10 times, 20 times, you are likely to be as good, you know, in that opportunity uh, because you'll be hungrier yeah. when it eventually comes. Discrimination now comes to, to, to certain people with mental health disorders. Yes, yes. We live in a society that doesn't want to confront issues yes, yes. as big and now, but yes. they discriminate on yes. people that are yes. faced with yes. such issues. Yes. How does one now navigate this sea of, uh, as you said, we, we, we have these issues that come to us sometimes societal, yes. but we deal with them on a personal level. Yes, yes, yes. Perhaps the society hasn't fully yes. grasped Yes. Whatever it is that we are yes. faced with, me yes. yeah. I need to seek some advice. Yes. I need to see someone. Yes. How do I now face my family, my yes. friends, yes. and society who are discriminating on yes. me yes. because of PTSD, yes. stress, yes. suicidal yes. thoughts, and yes. many of yes. those things? You see, here at Cloud Therapist, uh, our model is three, three faced. Sure. Of course, we understand what you what you, what you. Uh, I'm not going to try and answer what you're saying like it's an easy thing. It's not. Um, you know, um, we understand um, what, you are, what you are saying right now here at Cloud Therapist, and, and, and we have actually adopted a three-leg approach in dealing with issues of mental health. Education, awareness, and intervention. By education and awareness, our society is an acknowledgement mm. of what you are saying, that there is still a stigma. There is still discrimination. Mm. When someone is saying, I'm suicidal, we're looking at them as kind of, the, especially if they are male, we look, at, we look at them as they are failures. Yeah. You know, that they are not tense enough to deal with, uh, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. And, 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 and that leads to suicide on its own. Do you know that uh, the statistics actually reveals that, you know, about uh, 14 to 16 men kill themselves every day, mm. every day. As we speak, there is a man somewhere contemplating who, even, who, not even. who has successfully committed yeah. suicide, who has successfully committed suicide. And this thing, um, it really does not really, really care who you are. You can be a big figure in a society, but when it then, you know, uh, follows you, um, if you don't go and, and ask for help, it would, it would even, even eventually win. Now, back to your question, it is always good that you take, um, you know, self-initiative. Yeah. There are, you know, a platforms like Cloud Therapist as it is now, and um, these platforms are available online. Mm. So, so, so um, that is the understanding of this discrimination. This, that is the understanding of these geographical uh, 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 constraints that comes with seeking help because you'd find that you know uh, as 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 as, you, as as they've just released the, the statistics for example the census that has highlighted that we are 60 million plus and and maybe you have about i'll say um maybe 3000 psychologists that must mm. look after that population Damn. yes and some of them are full full-time employed uh, uh, somewhere, and those that are actually available to deal with people's issues, uh, a very small fraction. Now, virtual platforms like Cloud Therapist then helps to bridge that gap, where a person 
is able to actually, you know, to go into the platform mm. and uh, where no one is really going to notice and see, right? Because we just want you to start, we just want you to initiate mm. um, the, you know, the, the, the healing process. And ultimately, once you feel, um, you know, you are in a, a, a prepared state where you want to actually, uh, you know, talk to, to your friends, to uh, your parents or whoever, then you can talk to them. You can be an educator, for example, mm. of saying, listen. After you've been empowered. Yes, use yeah. your story to actually educate others and empower them so that these things, they don't actually uh, become a, a personal issue, but it's an issue that can be, um, you know, uh, be used to actually help others. Mm. I've always advocated that, for example, uh, LO, life orientation in schools must be expanded to deal with issues of mental health comprehensively. They deal with them, you know, in a small uh, fraction point of view, but it must be a, a subject that practically encourage kids um, to deal with issues of bullying, mm. you know, to deal with issues of uh, discrimination from other kids manner. in a comprehensive manner. Mm. Where by comprehensive manner, um, I uh, most, um, you know, uh, 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 mental health uh, resources that are available, they are limited in awareness. Mm. You'd find people, they come and talk about mental health, but where to from there? Mm. So if you, if, if cloud therapist then, that's why cloud therapist, we say awareness, education, intervention. Mm. By intervention, that's a healing component where then we, you come in our premises and then, uh, or you come into our platform virtually, then you can be able to um, uh, uh, get access to our psychologist. Tell me about now this, uh, this beautiful facility. It's, mm. it's very, very good. You yeah, have thanks. offices, you have, uh, I think, therapist rooms. Yes, yes, therapist suits, yeah. yeah. You have mm. the cloud therapist suits as yeah, well, yes, which yes. are fully private. Yes, uh, yes. For yes. No, 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 no but tell us about that. What brought the idea of bringing this online solution to people in and around our country and even all over the world? I'm currently talking to um, W uh, 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 World Health Organization yes. uh, uh, from a SADC uh, point of view um, uh, to provide uh, mental health in a, for, in, for the SADC region. Mm. And, uh, and, 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 and that, is, that was my thinking you know, when I was still at university. Uh, to say, how can I use my profession to benefit my society? There was a professor uh, that um, uh, I, 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 I was very close to, uh, Prof Mkise. He's a now prof. He's a now a dean of uh, humanities school of applied uh, at UKZN. Mm. Um, he's always encouraged us that uh, you know, if you uh, take this profession and go back to the society identify a niche within it mm. that you can use to empower mm. um, where you come from. You would always just say, you come from, I'm, I'm, I'm come from Club Yalingana. And he mm. said, I must use psychology to empower my community. Now, I've done that from, uh, uh, with my, you know, uh, uh, small limited um, uh, uh, resources, um, uh, but the dream has always been, let's impact the world. And how do you impact the world? There is technology now, right? Yeah. So we use what we call telehealth, telepsychology. So that's the, that's the, the meeting of psychology and technology. Mm. We use technology as a tool to actually extend mental health services to the world. And, 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 and we are currently uh, you know, uh, looking at how we can um, you know, uh, uh, empower, uh, how can we make cloud therapists available for the whole SADC, mm. where a person from Malawi, a person from, uh, you know, Botswana, uh, a person from um, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, Mozambique. Yes, Mozambique. Yeah. can just go into a platform and uh, request and book a session and request to have a session to one of our therapist we allocate and they can have a session virtually. <laughs> like you would have a session on Zoom. Mm. Easy like that. They can talk about whatever issues that is troubling them there because mental health is, um, you know, uh, mental health is mental health. <laughs> and I think that takes away from, from Lendo, your, your, of, of having fear, of, 
of being seen, perhaps yes. walking into a yes. doctor's office. Yes, yes, uh, yes. To yes. Yes, yes. Uh, issues. But issues. now you, yeah. you can just say, no, I have a meeting. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Later today. Exactly. It's on Zoom. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's ambiguous. Exactly, yeah. So it gives you yeah. that anonymity, exactly. the feeling yes. that you can be able yes. to yes. Uh, seclude yourself from society and still face your issues. As Definitely. Well. Without it. That is my drive. <laughs> And that is my space. That is what I've identified, and I think that's that's my that is my calling. That, uh, that you know, uh, Steve Jobs says, each man must must identify uh, his program in life. You know, you must identify what you are here to do, mm. right? So once you find out what you are here to do. Ignore the noise. Ignore that uh, Mbambo is in broadcasting. Is, well, <laughs> no, you can be inspired that he's a, yeah. he's a great uh, broadcaster or a presenter. You can be inspired. But you don't need to be a presenter yourself. You don't need to be in radio yourself. Hmm. You can be inspired by greatness. And that greatness then ultimately lights your light in what you are and what you want to do in life. So that's, that is how I look at psychology. That I must use this profession to actually assist others, extend the platform where other psychologists can actually come in and actually offer mental health services to the wider uh, you know, population, even mm. outside of South Africa for that uh, matter, as I'm, I'm talking side it right now. But their vision is to provide mental health healing for the world, mm. really. Mental health healing for the entire world. From cloud yes. therapist, Konala Nkabenietegu, to the world. I am hanging out with Usabelo Kumete, who is uh, founder and spearheading this entire movement. Make sure that you do search, find and follow them on social media and do engage with them. If you are faced with suicidal thoughts, with fears, anxiety, depression and stress, you don't even know how to tackle all of those things. There are people on the other side of the call who are able to talk to you about it rather than you surfing the internet, drowning it down with music and movies and, and, and there is a platform you can log into and you can be helped and assisted in whatever way that you desire. So yes. I'm going to let Kumete uh, 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 tell us about all the platforms and how do we get there and as well the social media. Yes. Let's know what's in the corner. Yes, yeah, so I I I urge uh, our followers that they must look at uh, our uh, social media pages, Cloud Therapist uh, in on Facebook, Cloud Therapist on Instagram, and Cloud Therapist on um, LinkedIn, and um, uh, yeah, and uh, you can uh, start following us uh, there, and uh, we give uh, tips on how to deal with uh, certain mental health issues, educational videos. And sometimes we do live, um, you know, a, 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 a podcast where we give, uh, you know, education about certain issues. We have different psychologists coming into the platform to talk about uh, different mental health disorders and different mental health issues. Yeah, so you can follow us there. Um, yeah, or you can just uh, check us on our WhatsApp, uh, which is 076-6035-545. There's a saying, it's a, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Your yes. journey of healing can begin even today. After you have watched and seen all of this, you can begin your journey of healing even now. The reality of it is that you are going to be a healer. You are going to be a healer. You are still here. So start that journey of healing and engage yourself even today. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So really appreciate it. Until next time. Thank you.